Let's take a look at some larger numbers now. What about hundreds? Now we don't have hundreds yet, but we do have nine tens and one of the ones. One of the ones is like that, one of our unit cubes. And we can represent the number nine in the tens place by three, six, nine of our 10 place value models. Now, what if we got another three of those? That would mean we had nine plus three, which is 12 of the tens. But wait a minute, we can only have a single digit number there. So what about if we take a group of 10 of those and take them out for the moment? Now there's only two tens left, but we have to put them back. So what we're going to do is trade them or swap them for one of the hundreds because 10 of the tens is worth the same as one of the hundreds. So we put that back in there. We've now got one of the hundreds, two of the tens and one of the units. So when we move from tens to hundreds, the value is 10 times bigger. What about more places? Well, you could keep going left, but we're only going to go as far as thousands. One of the ones or units is a unit cube. One of the tens is 10 times bigger. One of the hundreds is 10 times bigger than one of the tens. And one of the thousands, guess what? That's actually 10 times bigger than one of the hundreds. So let's just recap. 10 of the ones has the same value as one of the tens. 10 of the tens has the same value as one of the hundreds. 10 of the hundreds has the same value as one of the thousands.